And now to Honduras, where protests are increasing. Thousands are really there to demand President Juan Orlando Hernandez's resignation. Our correspondent Gerardo Torres has always there. The Honduran Libre Party has called for a demonstration in front of the National Congress after the local media reported that the Social Security Institute had written checks to the ruling National Party for more than $100 million. This comes on top of last year a commission proved that under former President Porfirio Lobo, the institute was invested by its directors for more than $350 million. We show our solidarity to men and women that are looking for help in many places. But we also want to say to the National Party and to President Juan Orlando, don't be fooled. The people will not go down without a fight, and we are ready to go out to the streets. We're ready to face them. The Honduran Social Security Institute is in crisis with no medicine, and more than 40% of the scheduled operations delayed due to the lack of equipment. Former President Manuel Zelaya, leader of the political opposition, called for permanent actions demanding the resignation of President Juan Orlando Hernández, who hasn't been able to discredit the checks presented as proof and that many point out were used in his presidential campaign in 2013. Long live the people of Honduras. Let's go demonstrate in every city in Honduras until we take down this government that is unworthy and doesn't represent the people of Honduras. Several protests are expected for this week and the pressure against the government will increase with more proof starting to appear that links the National Party with one of the most scandalous corruption cases in the history of Honduras. Gerardo Torres, Telesur, Central America.